So this video is late today. The sound that you heard on the first clip right there and then the next couple of clips after this one is actually being recorded while I'm filming, not through the drone, but through the controller there. And I've been messing with that a little bit, and uh, but it kind of throwed me off on trying to transfer the videos this morning. And, uh, and it also, when I do it like that, it loses a little bit of the quality on the, on the video. Y'all may not can notice it unless you watch it on a uh, really good size flat screen TV or something like that. I mean, it's still doable, but I think that instead of recording the sound through the, uh, through the controller, that I'll... If I'm on re if I'm on record sound with the drone, I'll just do it through an uh, external uh, audio recorder, which which I have I've had for a good while now. I do all my voiceovers with it as a task cam. But anyhow, so we're almost done with this job right here, and what you seen you you could kind of tell in that first drone clip where I flew the the pocket of green right there. Uh, Derek said it was supposed to be about 14 acres right there left, but he and I both agree when I, when I flew it there looking at it and with what he's looking at on his GPS stuff that he's got in his cutter, I don't think it's quite 14 acres right there. So we'll finish this thing this week pretty easy, but they're talking about a lot of rain coming up this week also too. This was all filmed on Saturday right here. And we were just trying to get, um, make one more day. We were rained out Monday and then we worked Tuesday the rest of the week. We ended up, I believe it was an even 70 lows that we ended up with for the, for the whole week, which was pretty good having to deal with the conditions, uh, that, that we were dealing with. Uh, just, so I throwed the drone up right here after I got the first round of trucks loaded and, um, uh, Put it up just to kind of see what what it looked like, and that's the neat thing about it is you can you can five minutes up in the air. Well, actually less than that, and you look at whatever you need to look at and um, put it back up and be done with it. Very very helpful tool. It's a DJI Mavic Zoom is what I fly with. So y'all enjoy the rest of this video right here. geese out there on the lake this morning so if we do end up getting rained out it will give me an opportunity coming up the first part of this week to go ahead and get the grapple plumbed up on my uh, mini the uh, new rotobec rpa uh, pc grapple i went and uh, picked up some hydraulic quick connects for my mini uh there friday got them and so now I'll need to go and uh, 
get some lines made up for it. I gotta figure the lengths of them and all that stuff like that. And then I got to get a uh, run a case drain from the all the way from the rotator motor all the way back to the tank back there. And I looked at it the other night just a little bit and uh i've actually reached out to kind of help me out on that to know exactly where to plumb it in because it needs to plumb in to where it goes through the filter and it don't have to be a pressure line or anything like that the biggest hang up is getting the electrical to the uh solenoid it's got a you can run that grapple off of one circuit but you've got a uh a diverter valve or a, a 12 volt selector and the way it works is, is when you energize it, it deflects the oil, diverts the oil to the rotator. And if it's not energized, it runs the oil to the, to the grapple, open and closing. All right, so I checked on just getting a switch for the joystick. And the Kubota don't make just a switch for the joystick. You got to buy the joystick handle, the actual plastic part of it which this is just at the dealer and uh, I hadn't dug in online. I might can find something online, a replaceable joystick, but anyhow, just the plastic part in the switch from Kubota with the pigtail on it was $734. I about flipped out and I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So if worst comes to worst, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get an all weather switch, a small uh, momentary switch that I can put in the joystick myself and wire it up and that's what I'll do. But I'm going to jump online, I don't have time to do it today, and see if I can find something, uh, you know, an aftermarket deal that I can buy that don't cost no $700. I, I don't, these, uh, these companies and uh, the, and what they're charging for these replacement parts is just absolutely, utterly insane anymore. And uh, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous. But I told them, I said, uh, I said I would end up, I would trade the machine off and get one rigged out like I wanted to before I spent that much money on on that on that stick part because I'm talking about it's this this is just a plastic now this is not the this is just a plastic with the switch in it and all that so it'll probably be I'll mess with that but it'll probably be after I get back from the con expo before y'all see it uh running i know it has already generated a lot of interest uh just showing it and not even not even using it but i'm about to load up i've got a uh, pretty big grading job that i've been working on and y'all see some video from it later on so uh first day of march springtime's right around the corner you can see all the junky weeds and stuff starting to come up in the yard right there so that's just a little update and we'll uh get that job finished up we're on and move on to the next one so uh y'all enjoy your sunday we'll catch y'all later later taters one last thing before i put this part on in the video i meant to do it a while ago i talked to jay friday he had surgery wednesday so for those y'all who don't know jay was a is an independent mechanic he works for another company but he was uh he's kind of our go-to mechanic that comes out and keeps all of our stuff up. He was hurt by a uh, skid steer back in uh, September of 2019. He actually got crushed between the between the back of the boom and the front of the machine. Uh, they had a foul up happen, and um, and that's just that. So anyhow, it dang near killed him, and. It, it it mashed his face too. It stuck his face into the machine, into the joystick in there on the on the skid steer. And it it the worst part about that was it crushed his nose and it messed his nose up where he couldn't he couldn't breathe like he should. So he had surgery on his um, on his nose. I'm not sure all the details on it or anything like that, but uh, I I called him. Friday after the surgery Wednesday and uh boy he didn't he didn't sound good at all man it, you could, I could tell he was hurting and I was only on the phone with him just maybe 15 20 seconds at the most and uh so you know 
Hopefully he'll come on around from that, but I know his nose is giving him a good bit of trouble. Other than that, he's 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 been pretty good. He's he's still not working, and like I said, that happened back in uh, September. So I mean, he's he's just lucky to be alive, really, to be honest with you. So I wanted to throw that update in there. I, I meant to do that while I was outside filming, and forgot about that because I know there's a lot of people that you know that they want to know. So later, Taylor.